o'clock. Hi everybody and welcome back to Bedtime Stories with Fee. Now tonight's story has been requested by a little boy called Leo Lucas. So thank you very much for your request and I hope you enjoy it and I hope everybody else who's watching it enjoys it. We're going to read Funny Bones. So I hope you can join in with some bits. This is how the story begins. On a dark, dark hill, there was a dark, dark town. And in the dark, dark town, there was a dark, dark street. And in the dark, dark street, there was a dark, dark house. And in the dark, dark house, there was a dark, dark staircase. And down the dark, dark staircase, there was a dark, dark cellar. And in the dark, dark cellar, some skeletons lived. There was a big skeleton, a little skeleton, and a dog skeleton. One night, the big skeleton sat up in bed. He scratched his skull. What shall we do tonight? he said. Let's take the dog for a walk, said the little skeleton, and frighten somebody. Good idea, said the big skeleton. So the big skeleton, the little skeleton, and the dog skeleton left the dark, dark cellar, climbed the dark, dark stairs case, and stepped out into the dark, dark street. They walked past the houses and the shops. They walked past the zoo and the police station and they went into the park. The big skeleton scratched his skull. Can you do that again? What shall we do now? He said. Let's play on the swings, said the little skeleton and throw a stick for the dog and frighten somebody. Good idea, said the big skeleton. So the big skeleton, the little skeleton and the dog skeleton walked around the dark, dark pond, past the dark, dark tennis courts and up to the dark, dark swings. Do you like playing on the swings? I don't know if I've ever been on a swing in the dark though, have you? That would be interesting to do. The big skeleton and the little skeleton played on the swings. They threw a stick for the dog. Suddenly, something happened. The dog skeleton chased a stick, tripped over the park bench, bumped into a tree and ended up as a pile of bones. Oh no! Uh oh, what are they going to do? Look at that, the big skeleton said. He's all come to pieces. What shall we do now? Let's put him back together again, said the little skeleton. So the big skeleton and the little skeleton put the dog skeleton together again. They sang a little song when they did it. The toe bone's connected to the foot bone. The foot bone's connected to the leg bone. The leg bone's connected to the hip bone. The hip bone's connected to the back bone. Can you sing it with me this time? And then you can point to your body to the bits that are joining together. So, the toe bone's connected to the foot bone. The foot bone's connected to the leg bone. The leg bone's connected to the hip bone, the hip bone's connected to the backbone. Then they got all mixed up. Is that the toe bone? The little skeleton said. Where does this one go? Said the big skeleton. When they had finished, the big skeleton said, that dog looks a bit funny to me. So he does, said the little skeleton. We've got his tail on the wrong end and his head. Foof! He's saying it the wrong way around. Look, they've got all his legs mixed up. He's all back to front there. But look, his head and tail are the wrong way. So he's saying, foof. Can you say it? Foof. That's not what a dog does, is it? At last, the dog was properly put back together again. The big skeleton and the little skeleton sang another song. These bones, these bones can bark again, can run around in the park again, can frighten people in the dark again. Do you want to sing that one with me? These bones, these bones can bark again, can run around in the park again, can frighten people in the dark again. <gasps> the big skeleton scratched his skull. Do you do some more scratching? That reminds me, he said. We forgot to frighten somebody. Let's do it on the way home then, said the little skeleton. Good idea, said the big skeleton. So, the big skeleton, the little skeleton and the dog skeleton left the dark, dark swings, went out into the dark, dark town and tried to frighten somebody. Who do you think they're going to frighten? <gasps> the 
trouble was, there wasn't anybody. Everybody was in bed. Even the policemen in the police station were in bed. Even the animals in the zoo. Of course, the skeleton animals were awake. But you can't scare them because they're already skeletons, aren't they? We've got a giraffe. Look at his long neck. Some fish. We've got a little mouse. You go, squeak, 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 squeak. We've got a snake. A pig. Excellent. But what are they going to do? They've got nobody to scare. Let's have a ride on the elephant skeleton, the little skeleton said. Let's have a word with the parrot skeleton. They're on the elephant having a ride. And then the parrot's saying, Good evening all. Who's a cheeky boy then? Have a cup of tea. Pretty Polly, put the kettle on. Because parrots can talk, aren't they? So that must be fun to be listening to that parrot. The big skeleton scratched his skull. Again? Let's keep out of the way of the crocodile, he said. <gasps> Even they're a bit scared of the crocodile. When they were back in the streets, and when they still couldn't find anyone to frighten, the big skeleton said, What shall we do now, then? The little skeleton scratched his skull. Now it's the little skeleton's turn. Hmm. <gasps> Let's fight in each other, he said. That's better than nothing. Good idea, said the big skeleton. So after that, the big skeleton frightened the little skeleton, the little skeleton frightened the big skeleton, the big skeleton and the little skeleton frightened the dog skeleton, and the dog skeleton frightened them. <gasps> I'm coming to get you. Gotcha. <gasps> he grabbed him out of the drain. He's hiding up the tree. Boo! Meow! <gasps> the dog's running away, but then... Woof! Can you do a really big woof? Woof! <gasps> and they look very scared now. Ooh. Can you pretend to be a ghost? Look, he's wrapped himself in some washing. Ooh. Help! They hid round corners and frightened each other. They climbed up lampposts and frightened each other. They jumped out of dustbins and frightened each other. All the way home. And that is how the story ends. On a dark, dark hill. Can you join in with the dark, dark bits? Ready? On a dark, dark hill, there was a dark, dark town. And in the dark, dark town, there was a dark, dark street. And in the dark, dark street, there was a dark, dark house. And in the dark, dark house, there was a dark, dark staircase. And down the dark, dark staircase, there was a dark, dark cellar. And in the dark, dark cellar, some skeletons live. And they still do. <gasps> So if you've got a cellar in your house, you might want to check to see if there's any skeletons living down there. I'm sure there isn't. <laughs> Thank you very much for the request, Leah, and I will see you again soon. Bye.